What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, the Wolf of Crypto, here bringing you guys another video today. Uh, today, we'll be diving into the Orca Radium comparison. I know you guys have been leaving some comments asking me, am I still involved with the pools? Uh, which one's better? And then also, too, how do I deal with the harvesting and reinvesting and all that stuff? So, again, yeah, appreciate the comments. Keep leaving those down below. Um, I'm definitely going to dive in and obviously answer all three of those questions. Uh, first question first, most, uh, I'll take care of that right now, but I just saying as far as which one's better, uh, it's tough to say. Um, if I had to pick one, I would say radium and this is some of my reasons why, uh, if you come here and obviously we're looking at the double dip pools, obviously the APR has been fluctuating compared to, you know, if you've seen some of my previous videos when, you know, Samuel's APR was really high before, you know, it kind of moonshot a little bit. And then Polis's Atlas APR percentage has been kind of kind of dwindling a little bit um, just on Orca, though. So if we swing on over to Radium, we come to the farms, we go to Fusion real quick. And there's some other Fusion farms I'm actually thinking about uh, getting involved with on the Radium platform, uh, obviously because why? Based on APR and some other strategies that I'm trying to tap into as well um, to obviously maximize the profits. Uh, but you come down here, radium, 119%, uh, 132% on the ray, respectively. So um, if I had to pick one that I would probably prefer, is radium. And again, we're having some higher APRs. Uh, I don't believe that there's no um, expiration dates when it comes to these different farms. Uh, for the most part, I haven't seen really any expiration or any of these bars being expired. Uh, so I think Radium, if I'm mistaken, I'm trying to see if I can get some stats here. Uh, so we look at the total volume locked on the Radium platform and the total trading volume. We can go ahead and kind of take a look at all pools. And and that you know kind of sums up right there. Uh, if you look at the total value lock on Orca compared to Radium, you know, there's about a what a billion difference uh, compared to how much value is actually locked on the platform. And then total trading volume, uh, obviously their volume is a little bit lower compared to radium. So from that sense, I would have to give my, my nudge to radium. I think that's just my preference. Um, now, don't get me wrong, Orca's still cool and still good. It's just when you come to these double dips, uh, expiration dates. So obviously, you know, Polis and Atlas will be ending in March. Uh, kind of curious to see, will they renew it? Will it just kind of be one of those pulls that's done? Uh, like some of these other ones or, you know, I see down here, these are just ended, which is fine by me. Um, obviously, I'm going to be trying to find some other coins to dip into. I want to actually dip into the Kuro pull as well i mean i've seen the apr is pretty high and obviously this ends in december so um again just you know kind of going back and forth finding these different coins to try to figure out uh which ones i can get the most bang for my buck now two when it comes to harvesting um my personal preference is i normally like to harvest when the particular coin is up so I'll give you a prime example. We come to Polis and Atlas. We'll see uh, the Dow here, Polis, which is up right now at 830. Obviously, the last three months, um, you know, it's down compared to when it first kind of came on uh, the map when it got first initially listed, which is fine. So to tap into that question again, I like to harvest when we're green. So if we're green, I'll harvest... Mind you, I will harvest the obviously the entire amount, whatever's in there. And then what I'll do from there is normally I will keep some of it in the original token. And then I'm going to take a partial of that and allocate it back into USDC coin. And then from there, I'm taking that USDC and then I'm heading on over to Solon. And if you guys haven't checked out Solon yet, uh, I got a video. So the link will be up here somewhere. Um, highly suggest you guys check them out. Their IDO, I believe, just finished. Uh, their token also has value as well. So I'll be doing another video about them as well. So be on the lookout for that. But that's just my strategy. So I'll come in. You know, I'm seeing how the market's doing. 
I'll harvest. Obviously, I'll probably reinvest those profits back into the um, to the pool. That way, I can obviously earn a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so I take partial, put it into a stable coin, put that on Solon. That way, I can supply that and get some APR on that as well. And then two the reason why I do that as well is because let's say let's say it crashes, right? Um, I want to have at least some portions left, uh, like a big you know little big pot where I can come back in dive into, you know, one of these farms when the price is down, accumulate, get a bigger position and kind of just, that's how I do it. That's kind of monitor it. So I, I try to keep a, a, a log of like, if I'm going to enter into a particular pool, what's the entry price? So if I'm getting a, you know, pretty good low price, like prime example with Samoy coin, uh, when I started first participating in that particular pool, I was I bought it like you know at penny two pennies. Right now it's down obviously compared to you know obviously that early late October where it made a nice little push. But you gotta remember too with these guys, you know this month there's another 500 million uh, tokens being burned on a random day, so we don't know. So this might be another time for me at least personally where I might go ahead and buy some more um, and go ahead and increase my position size. So that's the second question. Um, actually, I kind of, I think it wraps up all the questions, if I'm not mistaken. I think I hit each one. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's just, like I said, that's just something I like to do. Obviously, radium, I'm going to say, I'm going to go ahead and choose that. If I had to pick one, radium over orca, but don't get me wrong, I'm using both. Um, I know somebody did say I need to probably check out serum. Obviously, it's not available in the USA, but you know. When has that ever stopped crypto people, right? Um, so, radium, folks, obviously, like I said, a lot more money on the platform, a lot more volume going out 24 hours. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, kind of curious what your guys' thoughts is. Like, do you guys prefer Orca? Do you guys prefer radium? Or I know some of you guys might already be on Serum, uh, depending on, obviously, where you live. Uh, but that's just kind of my different strategies when it comes to, you know, harvesting uh, picking the platforms, but I mean, if you come here and we can come look and I'll show you guys how much is actually in here. So we look at Polis right now. It's just sitting. So I got about 11.08 sitting currently worth, currently worth, you know, $92 and some change. That's not too shabby. And that's just on radium. So we come to Atlas, look at Atlas. Atlas should be probably in the same range, I'm assuming. Might be a little bit higher. Okay, so about $138 right there. So with these two and just this particular farm, we're looking at, what, close to 200 some change. Not too shabby, right? But again, I would harvest this today at this current price. Take some of those profits, put it into USDC, supply it on Solan, and continuously just have some interest and continue to build your uh, crypto portfolio because uh, at least for me, my preference is, you know, Solana ecosystem is huge. Um, a lot, I know a lot of people are starting to pay attention to it. Obviously, Solana has had what, a great year. Um, so I'm really just trying to use these platforms to obviously build up coins in the ecosystem, have a plethora, and also build up some Solana as at the same time. So that's going to wrap it up as far as this video goes. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy the video. I hope you guys... Uh, found it you know useful if you guys did make sure you leave a thumbs up uh, if you guys have any other questions by all means make sure you guys leave those down below in the comment section uh, but if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button also hit that bell to be notified for future videos but y'all that's it for today like i said radium versus orca if i'm going with one i'll pick radium but don't get me wrong i'm gonna be using both why we're double dipping folks actually with this we're probably quadruple dripping so Without further ado, I'm going to head going and get out of here. Until the next video, y'all, this is Ufa Crypto. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Peace.